Welcome back to Kentucky Mountain Vlogs. You're probably wondering, why am I in hunter orange, bright orange, got a, an orange hat on, and holding a fishing pole? It's because it's a muzzleloader weekend, and I really don't want to get shot. And also I'm wearing a black hoodie, and there's a bunch of bears around. And I'm walking down through the middle of the woods and we'll be squatting down next to the creek. So I don't want to get shot today. And you're also probably wondering, why aren't we hunting? right now and it's because we got like 40 mile an hour wind going by it's like we just got bad winds going on right now i got me a micro hook a tiny tiny split shot weight i'm gonna find me some worms and then i'm gonna go down here to the creek and uh try to catch some any creek chubs oh i forgot i need a bucket but i'm gonna go back out here find some worms and then probably be at the creek next time Okay, I dug some worms, a good cup full of worms. Not a lot, I got about seven, maybe, good ones. Now I'm heading to the creek. You're probably wondering, why am I walking uphill away from the creek? I'm not going to that creek, I'm going to the other creek that this creek meets. But I'm heading over there. I see a bunch of chickens, see you at the creek. Okay, so I got, I'm back here. I'm right next to the creek, but I just wanted to Get the camera on just in case I fell or something. And also, I rode a bicycle with no suspension up this road. And it has got a lot of water going down it. But I'm like oranged up. And I'm gonna walk down here to this spot in the creek. Big secret spot. It's probably not that much a secret. I'm gonna drop my worms inside this bucket. That should be good. And then I'm gonna go. Don't go in the water. It listened. That's good. So, uh, I'm gonna put this strap on. And I'm gonna try to vlog. I'm gonna walk down this hill. As best I can. And I just killed a little shot out of turkey. Shot at a couple of turkeys yesterday. I think it's like. I can still do it one hand. Ooh. Crystal clear. Oh no, I'm hunting up in a saw bar. I don't feel good. There's the deep spot in the creek that I'm gonna be fishing at. Oh no, it's not that deep as it was last month. Not been down here since spring. Ooh, I see some ooh, big ones. Big chubs. I hope they're bass. There used to, used to be some big bluegill. On sunfish or sun greens panfish you probably be saying oh that's terrible don't be throwing this stuff in the water I'm throwing it in the water so I don't get hurt on this glass okay that should be fine I'm gonna walk over here and get my lid put up my hood so I don't get hurt with oh, hit with any limbs or something in the face I'm gonna grab my lid <laughs> This goes on the minor bucket. Well, I don't like it on. And I took it off to put it on here. And now we made it. And I'm going to put back on my hat because it is hunting season. And you don't know where people might be shooting from. But I'm going to try to turn this bucket upside down and use it as a tripod. Because I didn't really want to, I didn't want to have to carry a big tripod down here. So, now double purpose now what I got on here so I got one of my little this will focus I got one of my little micro hooks on here and I got a little uh, split shot weight on here it's like tiny I don't even know how much if you can measure how much weight it's got so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump out some of these worms like this on this bucket lid and I'm gonna just pick one and break off a little chunk and put them on a hook Put that worm in there. I've also caught a gigantic carp out of here before. So this has always been a good spot to catch big fish. But then a bunch of floods happen and then it changes. It changes a lot. It's probably saying I should be quiet enough that now if I want to catch any fish. But if I quiet enough, you wouldn't be wanting to watch a video of me talking to myself for about five minutes. 
I don't know if you would or not, but I got a little, little chunk of worm on there. And then I'm just going to spit on it. And I got a little worm. Oh, already got one first half. Wow. Oh, he came off. I might just lose my tripod. Oh no, I know what that is. Oh wow. Are you serious? Oh wow. Give me a second, I got some more in this bucket. It looks like a shiner of some sorts. Oh wow, that's great fish right there. I caught a gigantic one. It was good size, like a humongous one. Oh wow, that's a really good size actually. So now I have my lid on here, and let's see if I still got my worm. He just took it. There's no, not been a hook in this water in a long time. First catch, that's either bad luck or maybe that good luck they were biting. That was way too tiny for one. Maybe <laughs> a micro hook. There's some little fry down there. They're just too tiny to bite my hook. Oh, I'm kind of I'm going to move over here so I can have Logging. Wait. Whoa, I had one. That's a good sign. Still nothing. Yeah, I think that was the only big, that was the biggest fish in here. I'm putting on more worm because uh, there's like no worm on. Like I ca I can catch. Okay, I'm starting to think that that was the only fish in here that was catchable. So now I got my. Wait, I think that's either worm guts or mouse poop. I'm just gonna thread this to the insides of the worm. That's how I do this, I just put it through the worm. Thread it through the worm like that. And then we're gonna go catch me a big fish. on your hook because last time I did that I caught a big one. I'm starting to think that might have been like the only big fish in here. So what I'm gonna do is I know there's another spot like down there that I can see. I'm not gonna risk it take this camera all the way down there and test it. So I'm gonna leave it on this bucket and zoom it in pretty good so if I fall in you can see me. And I'll leave my hat here mostly because it keeps on falling off. Okay, you should be able to see it from there. I'm taking worms with me. No, I'm taking my hat because I'm wearing white. Never mind, I'm taking the camera with me. I'm going around. I'm not going to show it because i got to carry worms and fish pole around here. And jump down. I'm on the other side now. I probably should have had my camera running. I just about fell. I, I slipped and about fell down there. So this was the spot I was going to. I see what looks like some baby frog is. No, not the greatest. Yeah, my hook and my weight still on. But I'm walking down here to the creek, through the creek. Show you something. Cool creek.
That's a big tree. A big flat rock. I'm holding my camera. Oh, I see a bunch of baby fish. But they're just baby minners. They're not big enough to even fit on my hook. They're like inch long, maybe less than that. Probably should have brought the cast net. Let's see, this is as far as I can go. There's no deep spot with that, don't look that great. But yeah, this next is Mountain Arm Tree. Um, there's a bunch of little baby fry over there. It's not big enough to even catch with this. I'm gonna go back here to the deep spot. Try to catch me some more minners. Great job, something like that. I was wanting a bass, maybe a bluegill, but I got a shiner. That's a new species I've been catching around here. Probably some invasive shiners, I don't know. Asian carp. I am not 100% what species are. I do know I did catch a record strap shiner. I just released it after I caught it. But while I'm on this side, I'm gonna go fishing. I can't see anything. But I will see. Oh wow, there's a lot of turkey poop right there. Sit this down like that. Cast up screen. Pick it up there. Oh wow, there's one. Let's see what species. Sucker. Nope, chub. Fathead. You know. Fathead creek chub. So, what I'm gonna have to do is go on the other side again. Yes. Oh, no. I don't know where they're at. I'm gonna just cast that right there. Let's see. They ate it clean. I really need to loosen my drag. And if you're wondering what kind of reel I'm using, I'm using a Shakespeare Alpha. It's been a pretty good reel. I've been using it lately on this little ultralight. I've had it for like nine dollars. Works really good for a cheap, very cheap reel. I've dropped it just set down on the ground like that. It worked pretty good. Like I said, it was nine dollars, so under ten dollars. That's an under ten dollar pole. The pole was broke. Found that, and then uh, bought a nine dollar reel. So a ten dollar reel. I'm trying to focus. On the warm on. Okay, I got this on. I loosen my drag so I, I will hear it screeching. My drag squealing if I hit something. They're biting my weight on it. My little split shot weight right here. He's getting more action than that. So, you know what I'm going to do? Huh? It's going to be some very interesting fishing stuff. I want to take this little weight and I'm going to clip it right on my hook. Okay, that didn't work, but I'm going to clip it right on my hook. Got worm chunks on me. Ow, that just went on my fingernail and it didn't feel that great. But this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this little white right here. And then I'm going to just clamp it down there. Squeeze it. Nope, nothing. There's one. Just a worm. 
didn't like losing. Uh, oh, wow, how did I miss that guy? Oh, that was that big flopping one. He's really floppy. <laughs> These are a bunch of worms. I know my face is like directly right in front of the camera. See? That's coming off. It's getting serious now. So now, if they're biting me, whip shot weight. They'll be biting my foot now. It's fit. Okay, I was just sitting here off camera, trying to catch fish, casting over there, casting over here, saying nothing. And then, right there, I seen a good sized fish, a little shiner. It, it was a good one, I could see stripes on it. It was probably like a striped bass or something. So we have a interesting fishing time. We caught two minners. I seen a big one. I'm gonna head on up, so. Hopefully, the next week after this will be a deer video. So, hopefully, we can go hunt tomorrow. Awesome happens.